hot rolls. Hot rolls, hot rolls, hot rolls. My god, I've come all the way for this. And yeah, they told me that it's closed from today till Thursday. Oh, seems that my food vlogger journey isn't that successful. <laughs> oh my god, I think yeah. Like yesterday, I couldn't find the food that I wanted to eat. Like this morning, I couldn't find it. Hmm. I think maybe something is wrong. I need to do more good deeds later on. Good morning, Kota Kinabaru. Yeah, it's uh, let me see, what time is it? Uh, 8.30 a.m. in the morning. So I've just done my checkout. So uh, I am intending to look for another accommodation today. The bed that I stayed on, I mean generally it's okay. I think for a uh, six Singapore dollar price, I think it's just, it's just a good value, super good value. But um, yeah, I think first thing is the room gets a little bit too cold at night. So it kind of dropped to 16 degrees. So I was literally shivering okay yeah when I when I sleep so and also I think the, the, the bed is a little bit uh, hard for me yeah so I thought I still got two more nights to go so I better just uh, just kind of uh, look for another room this look like a big market of uh, Kota Kinabaru which is just by the waterfront Of course, by the seaside, this city is uh, kind of arrested by the seaside, situated there. So you get lots of uh, seafood kind of things. Yeah, Highway Dian, as they call it. Selling dried seafood, sea, cu sea cucumber, scallop example. Homely Seafront Hostel. Yeah, it's right in front of me. So. I'm going to check it out in person make sure that I like this place before I decided to stay so it's just right in front of the waterfront all right I have uh, secured this room even without checking out <laughs> I think the thing is that uh, because check-in is uh, 2, 2 p.m. in the afternoon so yeah and, and everybody's still sleeping so i'm not able to test any bed and, and what's not yeah so i just have to take it with faith that everything will turn up fine for the two nights okay actually what convinced me to order without even have a look at the room i think that's because of the environment this is the kitchen and that's the breakfast okay anyway i'm not heading for the breakfast anyway so this is the view here Yes. Hopefully I get this view <laughs> when I check in, which I kind of highly doubted. But anyway, I think that's the view that brought me into booking this room, even without looking at it. So I just put my bags here and head for my breakfast. I'm actually quite dying to see how the waterfront look like. Yeah, so this is the waterfront. The sea is pretty okay. I think pretty clear as I can see it. I don't think there's any beach around me. Oh, but there's a lots of people playing jet skis right over there. Yeah, so there's a lot of villagers. I mean, sorry, uh, fishermen. Oh, so I believe this is where the fishermen catch is produced. Yep. I'm actually quite okay. I mean, for a population of uh, 250,000, Kota Kinabaru has got this kind of pretty decent beach so far. I heard the best beaches are outside. Okay, the, the, the islands out there, the five islands. Okay, they call it uh, Tongku Abdul Rahman Marine Park, which I'm going to do it. Okay, probably tomorrow. Okay, finger crossed tomorrow weather will be as good as this yeah so because I do need one whole day to cover the five islands okay in fact not all the five islands okay but 
the main ones. Yeah, okay, I, yeah, probably I think I will shortlist one or two. Oh, I think it's quite interesting. There's also a uh, those seafood corner over here. Yeah, given that it is next to the sea. Look. See, all the Dikambilis, the Kurupo. Ah, no, it's okay, I'm walking. I know, I know Haisun. Yeah. Yep, all the dry seafood. So, which is also next to the handicraft. In fact, it is a quite a big place, okay, other than the uh, souvenirs, the dry stuff, okay, there's also a wet market here, adjacent to it. So the only thing lacking is a cook food store, <laughs> that will make it a, a one-stop shop. So that's the market. pretty early yeah so there's very little activities one of the tourist place that we should go when we are in uh, Kota Kinabaru is this uh, Pasa Craft I think it's translated as a uh, craft market yeah so this is just by the water side next to the beach so let me just take a quick tour of this so you get all the tourist stuff okay the sarongs the batiks yeah. it's very compact here it is still 9 a.m. in the morning so it's yeah I mean people are just opening up their stores but it's a good idea to show around hello hi yeah you can find all the saba stuff over here like the magnex hello hi morning yeah it's still early so yeah yeah oh by the way it's a little bit kind of uh, short for me so I have to bend over yeah as I cross through the the bags I hope I'm not disturbing the owners and the customers hello thank you morning so this is literally a one-stop shop if you are looking for souvenirs But don't forget to haggle price. <laughs> yeah. See, I have to bend down to get across the bags, the cloth, the bags, <laughs> the shirts. Yeah. It's still early, anyway. Yeah, you can find toys. So I believe in the afternoon I think it will be busier but that means that it's harder for me to do a video in the afternoon I think when there's too many people so I take this morning opportunity to just take a shot okay so you can probably come here during daytime right so I'm on my way to my breakfast Okay, like I said yesterday, I'm saving all my stomach for only worthwhile food. Okay, I mean, as I said, worthwhile food means those food that I pin it. Yeah, sorry, I need to watch the traffic a little bit. So behind me is the seaside. Okay, now I'm crossing the road to more inland. Get some shade from the building I know 
it's, it's, it's going to get hot in the afternoon or later in the morning. Yeah. I'm back to where I stayed last night. So, oh, this is a, actually a Singapore restaurant, as I see it. Yeah. Yeah, I think they are selling chicken rice and stuff. Well, I must agree that uh, the place I stayed last night is, is has got a damn solid location. Yeah, I think a location that I can't beat. So right now I have to go further down, maybe 400 meters one way. Yeah, for my new accommodation. So which is which means that it's a little bit more out of the way. Yeah. So if you consider to and fro, the incremental distance is probably one kilometer. But well, I hope everything is worth it. Okay, with the change in my accommodation. Horrors, 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 horrors. My god, I've come all the way for this. And yeah, they told me that it's closed from today till Thursday. Resting four days. Ah! Okay. Oh, seems that my food vlogger journey isn't that successful <laughs> oh my god I think yeah like yesterday I couldn't find the food that I wanted to eat like this morning I couldn't find it hmm I think maybe something is wrong I need to do more good deeds later on so opposite the Ifong Laksa which I which is closed for the next four days so what you can see is this Ekson, Ekson clock tower yeah, so this is one of the oldest structure in uh, Kota Kinabaru. I think currently it's still under some kind of a renovation. Okay, so I'm not going up. And anyway, it's just a clock tower. Right. So, yeah, just have a look when you are so-called dining here at this Laksa, I mean, uh, the Laksa place. Yeah, just cross the road and then this is the one of the oldest structure in Kota Kinabaru. All right, I need to go for my plan B. Does this building remind you of a flat iron building in New York? So I call it the flat iron building of Kota Kinabaru. This is quite a quirky piece of mirror. Very ethnic, Saba. Yeah. And this small neighborhood tucked in the middle, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's the very pretty street art. I just chanced into this very quirky neighborhood just below Atkinson Clock Tower. Yeah, it has got restaurants, cafe, yeah, in there. So I think given that it is still pretty early in the morning, so there's not too many shops that is open. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Cafe. Wow, such a big bouquet of flower. Yes. Oh, you received it? <laughs> I know. So it's the boss. Oh, okay, you're the boss. All right, all right. Oh, so the boss of this flowers. <laughs> To have a bird eye view of Kota Kinabaru, you may also want to try climbing up this uh, signal hill. Okay, that will give you a bird's eye view of the entire city. This is uh, a 25, sorry, 250 meter upward climb. Yeah, like this. Wow, it's pretty steep. 
Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Is the view nice? Mm, it's okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Long way. <laughs> Long way. Okay. Thank you. All right. So that's the friendly advice from these two people. I can see some of the steps are not very well maintained. Okay. So just be careful when you climb it. There's a series of up and down, very undulating. It's not all the way up, okay? But you go up, maybe 50 meters, you come down by another 30 meters. Yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. So, I mean, that's make it probably tiring. Yeah. Given that it is 250 meters, but you ended up probably having to climb three, 400 meters. We are so close to nature. No, we are in nature itself. Signal Hill is probably up there. Okay, but I'm not going to climb all the way up, given that over here I'm able to just see as good as I could get. Yeah, so this is the waterfront of Kota Kinabaru. Not a very tough climb, but I'm still like sweating here and there. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, especially without breakfast. So, alternatively, if you do not want to make the climb, just check in into Hyatt. Yeah, then go to the rooftop swimming pool and you can see everything, what you see here. Yeah, without even having to spend the uh, energy. But you just need to spend your cash. Right, that's the best I can get up to. I'm not going up, okay? So just <laughs> use a chair, okay? Yeah, and you get, get a slightly better view of the sea. The lookout tower is under renovation. Yeah, so alternatively just hit one of the benches and you can just see the view just as good.